Hey beauties, good uh, evening, good afternoon to you. <laughs> I was about to say evening, but I say evening begins at six. All right, beautiful people, listen to me now. Um, because I think when we get knowledge, it will make us understand. When we see things happening now, when we become aware, you know, and that is why, you know, as a preacher said once, it is not the devil that make people perish. It is not even sin that make people perish it is actually lack of knowledge that makes people perish not sin not even the devil as much as it may sound that way yes he may instigate and create some things and can cause death but we're talking about perishing not just physically we're talking about perishing emotionally psychologically mentally financially in every way when you see people do some things repeatedly and even when they seemingly get help it doesn't change it's because of a lack of knowledge and the application to that knowledge the right tools to put together in it has happened to all of us barring none in different ways lacking knowledge and i'm speaking in particular when i'm seeing a lot of people like i keep seeing people post everything about themselves and people will crucify them it's like they will revile them criticize them harshly abusively you know how is it that they're putting their business out there they're foolish they're stupid they're dumb they're nincompoos they're morons you know they're idiotic and we use all the worst adjectives to describe them, not knowing that there is a deep-seated problem. Listen to me. I remember about, it could be about 10 years now, there was something that came out um, simultaneously, I would say, uh, you know, in the Observer and the Gleaner, or the Gleaner and Observer, respectively. I think it would, yeah, something like that. So if one came out on the, let us say, for example, on the Saturday, the other one would come out on the Sunday. If one came out on the Sunday, one, the other one would have come out on the Monday. To say over 40% of the Jamaican populace have some sort of mental, uh, they don't want to use the word illness, suffering from some mental challenge, mental difficulty, some sort of a mental defect. Over 40% of the populace in Jamaica. I'm not sure what study was done. I am not sure if they had all the medical people came together and put, you know, maybe look at their charts, look at a number of things and came to this conclusion because I don't recall any census going around or people checking people's mental state, mental ability to see what tablets they're taking, whatever it is, you know, but whatever it is, but most people have gone to the doctor for some reason or another. There is a docket there for somebody. You know, 90% if not all. Even the people who probably only deal with midwives, they have gone for some sort of, you know, whether mental or physical or emotional defect. I am not sure what the, um, the situation is as it, as it relates to, you know, psychiatrists, counselors, psychologists, you know, because we have demonized mental issues in Jamaica. Anything that is, that seems like a mental, def uh, mental defect, we label it as we label it as them mad a mad somebody that right you know so she come out she go into a, the building there and appear the counselors go there so is a mad mad woman that you know see a madman that a, jesus me never know said this i want them mad me never know them mad in jamaica if you if you're different they label you as mad if you don't subscribe to their philosophy to their theory to their belief to their mantras they label you as mad not knowing that not just about speaking things into the atmosphere which they have contributed to greatly and gravely unfortunately but not understanding the gravity of the state of a number of people in our country and instead of us out in the fire we have fueled it and it has become like when california has a wild fire in its state it is like a wild fire and what is happening is that people are breaking they can't take it or we are not made to keep and to hoard information and to hoard challenges and difficulties that we're facing we're not made when you find that people are not speaking they will implode and maybe that is a big part and part as to why many people are having heart failures heart attacks cardiovascular diseases cancer stroke those major illnesses and other and you know maybe it started out with the lifestyle ones and then it develops into different types don't you find it not strange my beautiful um, do you not find it strange people 
when you see all diverse illnesses yes we know that sin is because of it and people are evil and wicked that's a major part we're not saying no but it is also that people are highly stressed people are highly stressed they're not dealing with their stressors properly they're not because they don't know how to they do not know how to and we need an outlet god did not make us to keep things they hear what the enemy has done to twist us because our one person betray us or two people betray us i can't trust nobody nobody can be trusted everybody's evil they're going to they're going to betray you they're going to be judas is in your life lives lies again from the pit of hell that is not true you do have decent people who are honest and confidential and can provide some sort of assistance to you it's a trick of the enemy because he wants to kill you before he kills you he wants to steal from you then he wants to destroy you utterly through killing you that is how the enemy works and he will use things that look like i'm not saying that we're not we're not to take precaution i'm not saying that we need to be caught we're not we're not supposed to be cautious obviously we have to that is why wisdom comes in that is why you're balanced the people that you see talking everything about their lives because they're losing it so any and every information they want to get out they can't take the pressure it has built up and the pipe is about to burst I was sitting in on a live yesterday and a lady said I know that there are some decent people on my life and they, they feel like what I've said is unbecoming but they don't understand the people are pushing me they're provoking me and they and the pipe burst and that is why the woman will behave in an unseeming way in a way people are undergoing mental trauma and difficulty I heard another lady and I said to myself she's ignorant meaning lacking knowledge that she doesn't believe in trauma generally speaking she doesn't believe in trauma and i said she doesn't understand what trauma is you know they what they did they brought up, brought up their own life how they grew up you know their parents were very harsh and and yet they turned out into wonderful people that's what they think but when they look at their own lives if they were to do a summarization of their own lives would they say they're truly happy with all of what took place no and i'm talking about predominantly even if they did not turn out into a what you call a murderer, a deviant to the society, when they look at their own lives, are they, are, are they fully satisfied with how their lives are? Trauma is not the way that you, you have some things, trauma that are um, covert and some that are overt, meaning there, there are some things that happen through parenting, through exposure of negative things from people who are children that they have not dealt with. So they may not create mayhem in the society, but in terms of relationships, they have difficulty having steady relationships, romantic or even platonic. So people don't understand the word trauma. There are many, if not all, people are traumatized in one way or another. So trauma is not the way that it's owned because you have to get trauma through rape or through violent acts of abuse in the way but they, people are traumatized because of psychological abuse when they were younger their parents were too harsh the parents put them down to say that you're ugly you're not going to amount to anything good you know the number of people and that is why we are having the the repercussions today of the same traditionalist parents you know the parents who are in their 60s or well those would be maybe baby boomers so from baby boomers or from the traditionalists to baby boomers let's work it in a descending order not ascending so the traditionalists would be the older ones those from 1943 or they about to present the baby boomers would be people in their 60s maybe early 70s up to 70 they were about to all right and those people the baby boomers and the traditionalists they were very very harsh and aggressive and all they knew was to shut up your mouth go over there son don't be big picnic argument. You're gonna turn out what list you what list like your papa, you what list like your mama, you what this and this and and we come with all the verbal, mental and psychological abuse and you are traumatized. Because when you, you're older you find that you are extremely aggressive. Shouldn't you know the very same person that's saying it, not understanding that they have been traumatized because the same person was saying oh they, were they went off badly on somebody they can't place why they can't understand why and i'm not talking about just oh because we're humans and you're you know you sin and whatnot this is something that has affected them because of their own bad their own, the, the bad parenting or the improper parenting let's probably let's use that that they faced and it has affected number of people mentally and they have to just come out and talk now because the pressure has built up where are the counselors? Where are the psychiatrists? Unless they're affected too. Where are the psychologists? Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.
please share this message. Thank you.